Hello everyone, my name is Martha and today I will briefly talk about The First Woman by Jennifer Nansubuga Makombi. This book is about a young girl named Chirabo who has been raised by her loving grandparents. It is set in the 1970s and 80s in Uganda. We first meet Chirabo when she is 12 years old. Although she is surrounded by strong women, she goes through an internal emotional crisis. Because of her internal emotional crisis, her inner self flies out of her body. And this is because she wants to know who her mother is, but her family is unwilling to tell her. She believes her mother abandoned her because her inner self escapes her body. So what does she do? She seeks the advice of the village witch, Nsuta. Nsuta tells Chirabo that her out-of-body experience is the nature of the first woman which most women no longer have and so she is lucky. She also tells Chirabo about the ancient Uganda women and how society silenced them through mythology and other stories. The book is divided into five sections. Each section shows us a more mature and older Chirabo. It also mentions Uganda in the 1930s and 40s and all the small details and revelations that come with maturity. It focuses on feminist issues and talks about the oppression and independence of women. Makumbi introduces us to Mwen Kano Kano, a Buganda women's rights movement that came before Western feminism. She also addresses the conflicts between tradition and modernity as well as the rural urban divide. In addition, she talks about racism, colorism, relationships, marriage, and family politics. The First Woman is a book that I could read several times. This is because of two reasons. One, it resonates with many aspects of Ugandan life. The second reason is the issue of women being oppressed is one that many Ugandan women still face. 